Hello guys, in this video we will compare two different cases of CFD simulation one with inflation layer, another without inflation layer So let's start the simulation I am opening ANSYS workbench Then I am creating a fluid flow fluent system right clicking the geometry and create a new design modeler geometry Click the XY plane, click sketching Make the XY plane normal to us Go to units, change to millimeters Create a circle Mark dimension as 100 millimeters diameter and extrude it for 500 millimeters to create a cylinder. Now close the design modeler, double click the mesh, then name the inlet and outlet. Click the mesh and give a mesh size of 4 millimeters. That's it. That will create a decent mesh. Now I have created the meshing and close the meshing module. Right click and update. Double click the setup. Click start to open ANSYS Fluent. Now go to materials, fluid. Fluent database, import the water liquid and copy and close it. Now go to cell zone conditions, go to the fluid domain and assign that as water liquid. Apply and close. Now go to boundary conditions, go to inlet and provide an inlet velocity of 1 meter per second go to run calculation and provide a number of iteration as 500 and click calculate After around 65th iteration, we can see a flat profile that means it is no more getting converged and even after 200 iterations, the curve remains flat. Now let's stop the simulation and go to this case with inflation layers. Double click the mesh to edit the mesh and before creating the inflation layer, we must know the Y plus value and first layer thickness. So I have already calculated that if you are new to Y plus value and first layer thickness, please watch my video suggested here. Otherwise, I have given the link in the description. You can click that link and you can watch that video and learn about first layer thickness and Y plus value. So now let's insert inflation layer and select the geometry and boundary is the outside boundary. Click apply and change its inflation option to first layer thickness. Define an inflation layer of 0 0.021. This is based on the calculation I have made. So you have to calculate based on your Reynolds number, your inlet area. So I am giving maximum layers as 10 and clicking generate. Now you can see a mesh with inflation layer has been generated. You can see a small 10 layers of inflation has been created. So now we want to retain the same settings as it is in the previous case. So in order to retain the same boundary conditions, same solo settings, we have to right click the setup and click update. So now the new mesh will be updated in the previous case. Now double click the solution. And before running the calculation, I just want to confirm whether the updated mesh has been loaded with inflation layers or not now we can see the inflation layers now let's go ahead and click calculate and now we can see at 144th iteration the solution got converged so 
whereas in the previous case without inflation layers even after 200 iterations the solution has not converged so it's a great idea to go with proper inflation layer with proper y plus value with proper first layer thickness based on the y plus value i hope this video helped you thank you and don't forget to subscribe